yes hello guys uh, i am mr maunesh badger assistant professor from uh, sc badagan institute of technology department of mechanical engineering so here i'll be discussing about the concepts of concepts of uh, experimental test and analysis that is in the mo third module we'll be having a uh, photo elasticity so regarding that i'll be discussing so in the module 3 that is in the photo elasticity we will be having a two chapters that is photo elasticity and 2d photo elasticity so in the photo elasticity we will be having a nature of light wave theory of light uh, where we will be studying the optical interference and stress optic law that is we will be deriving the equation for stress optic law then effect of stress in model in a plane and a circular polariscope will be discussing we will also understanding uh, isoclinics and isochromatics and we will also understand the main uh, basic concept of uh, how to determine a fringe order by using the fringe multiplication technique then we will also understand calibration of photoelastic models okay then in the for 2d elasticity 2d photoelasticity we will be understanding the separation methods that is shear difference method and uh, analytical methods and uh, we will also go through <coughs> certain concepts related to model to prototype scaling and what are all the properties of 2d photo elastic models right and also understand the materials that are required for the 2d photo elasticity okay moving on to the next that is the main content i'll be discussing in this chapter particular chapter is for what is photoelasticity what is light what is the nature of light what is polarization types of polarization then what is the method for producing the polarization okay then we'll be understanding what is photo elasticity okay then it's nothing but photo means light and the elasticity is nothing but the changes in the optical properties of the given component because of the mechanical deformation so it is one of the method that is used for determining the stress stress distribution of material as you can see in the drawing right in the particular in these uh, 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 figures right? especially these are used for the uh, analysis of stress in the irregular surfaces where we cannot use the mathematical approaches okay this concept came into picture in the 1816 uh, by Sir David Brewster. Yeah. <coughs> what is a light? Light is nothing but a is a form of electromagnetic wave. Okay, where it will be ranging from the uh, <coughs> radio wave radio waves to gamma rays. Okay, and uh, the wavelengths of this will be ranging from 400 to 700 nanometer. See, nature of light if you want to understand Maxwell gave a concept of light and that is light usually travels in the form of electromagnetic waves okay here you can see a figure electric field and a magnetic field component which are perpendicular to each other okay so <coughs> we also hear the equation for magnitude of the elect light that is e is equal to a cos omega t where a is the amplitude of the light lambda is the wavelength of the light c is the velocity of light f is frequency and w belongs to circular frequency of the light <coughs> t is the time <coughs> this figure will give you the how this uh, uh, wave uh, light
with wave travels okay perpendicular perpendicular to each other okay <coughs> yes this concept we will understand in this polarization initially what is the polarization means <coughs> you are constraining a light into a particular direction and you are making it to propagate that is nothing but constraining or making to propagate a light into a particular part hmm. right uh, it um, usually light waves will be of a, will, will be oriented at a very different direction all the directions will be oriented but by using the polarization we are restricting the light to travel in particular part okay. so we have different types of polarization that is a plane polarization circular polarization and elliptical polarization okay here you can see <coughs> this uh, linear polarization circular polarization and uh, uh, elliptical polarization usually done okay <coughs> then the methods for producing the polarization using polarized sheets we can make the polarization of light then prism can be used for the polarization and reflection also can be used for the polarization of the light then scattering also can be used for the polarization of the light 